our youngest speaker who made it here. <laughs> Isaac, thank you for being here. Let's give him a round of applause. Hey, Isaac, take it away, Isaac. I am I was first so inspired by what Dr. Moby said. Oh geez, uh, sorry. I was so honestly inspired by what Dr. Moby said about how we need to band together because the whole world is at danger right now, even today. Back in the 1950s and 1960s, there was something called the Cold War. And this, our weapons of war, our toys of war, as they were called, they were so strong that they could wipe out entire civilizations with just a few nuclear bombs. And now, and now that fear is looming over us more than ever, along with our other crises like climate change and the COVID-19 pandemic. It's a critical situation for all of mankind because we are all fighting and squabbling over each other because of arbitrary boundaries like religion or, for example, race and things like that. We are fighting over each other because of artificial boundaries that we ourselves have created. And I think, and my philosophy is that once we all recognize each other as humans, not Muslims, Bangladeshis, Singaporeans, that that, that may be true, but that doesn't matter. That shouldn't affect how we geopolitically or politically think of the world as a whole. We should be thinking of each other as humans, not Bangladeshis or Muslims or Singaporeans or Black or Asian or Hispanic. We should not be limiting ourselves because of those arbitrary boundaries. We should be uniting ourselves. We shouldn't be talking about how this person is bad because they are of this race or because their nation has committed this crime or this or that. Just because something has happened doesn't mean you have to disrespect an entire nation, an entire race. So we are all disrespecting each other and killing each other because of our race, our nationality, and our religion. And so this will keep continuing. And I don't want to leave this mess of a world to our future generations. And probably neither do you. We have so many thousands of people dying in the world of poverty, of hunger, of terrorism, of war. And yet we are doing nothing about it to stop or break up the crisis. We need to help our own planet, our own nation. Because if we just focus on side conflicts and domestic conflicts and racial conflicts, then we are not going to get anywhere from uniting together and trying to help the whole world cope with all of the uh, disease and all of the crises and all of the scientific, uh, well, all of climate change. We have to cope with so many different crises and so many different problems. And if we keep focusing on this and that, then we are never going to get anywhere with those, that. Everywhere. And it is, it is really rare to have like 200 viewers and people are coming up and they're commenting on uh, Isaac's speech and mm -hmm. uh, also through Dr. Moby's uh, television and Mary is there. Wow. Um, just to let everyone know, um, Isaac received a letter from President Barack Obama himself congratulating him as the youngest mm -hmm. professor. And uh, Isaac, um, I just want to tell you that I love my maths, but you know, um, I love to work with you again, but no more chemistry mm -hmm. because I can't even string the alphabets. Let's have a professor, the next professor. You've got two professors there. Um, let's have uh, Professor Ko from National U University of Singapore. Would you like to say a few words for someone to someone like Isaac, <laughs> your colleague from another place <laughs> in the same planet? Yeah, thank you, Vicky. You know, after listening to Professor Isaac, I really can only say. I'm an associate and assistant uh, professor. <laughs> I was just, you know, um, speechless. <laughs> you know, I wish, I wish the daily students that I interact with speak with such 
conviction, such mm -hmm. love, generosity, you know, when they are in class with me. But unfortunately, because most of my students are really quite um, preoccupied with um, excelling in only one aspect of their life, which is to do well in the studies, you know, get a good job, earn a lot of money, you know. And um, you know, they only have one KPI, which is uh, who becomes the richest is the most successful. I wish I can bring you, Professor Isaac, to my university so that they can listen to you firsthand. And you'll be so impressed. 